Did you know a single hunting trip unleashed one of the deadliest viruses ever recorded? In August 1976, Mabalo Lokala was a respected school headmaster in Yambuku, Zaire. He had just returned from hunting near the Ebola River when something went terribly wrong. Within days, he developed a crushing fever that wouldn't break. Then came the bleeding, from his nose, his mouth, everywhere. Local doctors had never seen anything like it. His blood wouldn't clot. In seven days, he was dead. But the horror was just beginning. His wife cared for him during his final moments. She died next. Then his mother-in-law, who prepared his body for burial. One by one, 11 family members followed the same pattern. Seven days from first symptoms to death. Every single time, the virus spread through their blood during traditional burial preparations. When medical teams finally arrived, they realized they were facing something completely unknown. A killer that would claim 280 lives and change pandemic response forever.